All right, guys, so it's a pretty cold day today, and I just got done working on a car, but we're doing this review on the YA200 OBD2 and CAN Enhanced Scanner. This is an open box as well as a review. I was sent this as a sample, but these opinions are all my own opinions. OBD2 scanner, uh, screen size 2 to 4, 4 inches, resolution 320 to 40. Um, all right, guys, so first off the bat, um, I didn't really know too much about the scanner. This is full 10 modes of OBD2 test, support newer cars, customize and graph live data. So I was looking up uh, some info on the scanner, and first of all, when I got this, I was like, um, it's kind of, it, it has some weight to it, meaning that it's probably um, well built because I have another one of these scanners from Walmart, which I love, and that scanner uh, works great. My That scanner works great. Uh, it's about, I don't know, it's about the same price. I'm looking at eBay, I'm, I'm looking at Amazon, it's like $24.99 for the scanner, and... And um, it ranges anywhere from $24.99 to $64.99. I don't know what the price is, but if you're getting this for $24.99, it seems to be a great deal. That's what it looks like out of the box. It comes with a USB, one of these uh, older USB model, <coughs> USB um, cables. And um, I, love, I love these scanners that are tethered. Uh, I love these scanners that are simple. So what else is in the box? Simple to use. <clears throat> um, I gotta tell you, I use my, I use my, I use my Walmart scanner more than I use any of the of the other scanners, and it's the cheapest one I have. I have scanners ranging from I don't know twenty to sixty to two two hundred, um, and um, I bought some of these. I bought some of these. Um, I I got as samples. And, and the simplest ones to use are my favorite. The ones with the tethered are my favorites. Now, I do have a couple of scanners that are Bluetooth scanners. Um, and, and, and they come in handy if you have specialized vehicles like a Prius where you can download apps to test out your batteries, etc., etc. But if you have a regular car, even if you have like, even if you have, to have a regular car, even if you have a Prius without um, without needing a specialized, um, without needing a specialized coverage app for your uh, vehicle, um, these scanners are great. Obviously, these scanners are great. Um, I, I have absolutely no complaints about them. Um, they're easy to use. They, they, the readouts are very, very, um, they're good enough for me. Um, unless you're a mechanic and you're doing like specialized BMWs, Mercedes Benzes. Um, any of those vehicles even then I think these scanners are like the best plug and play you plug them in it reads it you don't need to open up your Bluetooth it's one simple step uh, I could go on and on with all the reasons why I prefer um, not only tethered not only tethered scanners but why I prefer um, the simple the simple scanners it gives you a readout it tells you how many it tells you how many, um, whatchamacallit, how many codes you have. A lot of people getting these for check engine lights, obviously, um, are more than any other kind of um, issues that they might have their cars. So let me just do a readout of what this um, scanner does. It is a practical car diagnostic tool, supports for OBD2 functions such as the read freeze codes, view data stream, O2 sensors test on board, monitor test, and EVAP test. Um, YA200 OBD2 reader is co-reader is scripted to three hot keys, which is more convenient to use. One key DTC looks up pending codes stored in scan code. One key via VIN display vehicle of VIN number. It supports nine OBD2 protocols. It also supports nine languages. It allows you to view the recording and playback or real parameter uh, identification data. So it actually does have memory for you for for, for memory. Now. Um, you're probably like you're probably asking like why is he reading off this because I'm getting this as a sample I don't know of uh, this offhand but we're gonna use it 
and uh, we're gonna use it and we're gonna we're gonna figure out uh, how good it is compared to all the scanners I've had obviously it's plug and play supports a bunch of you can take screenshots which you know, which I don't have with the uh, with the scanner I bought from from Walmart it, it tests out the battery voltage which is a plus two um, one one key VIN reads codes it reads codes I am readiness freeze frame live data uh, vehicle info evap system o2 system so it's uh it's it's kind of a it's it's kind of one of these simple scanners um not 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 with all the bells and whistles but most of the times you don't really need the more bells and whistles i like i'd say like 90 percent of the time you don't need the bells and whistles um it, be, it would be great if it has that um if it gives you the code it gives you the reasons why why uh you know what could be causing the codes that would be a great thing but you guys if you guys have youtube which you know 99 percent of the population do have youtube you guys you guys can look it up eventually um for most part i'll just look it up anyway on youtube see see what other people's um experiences are with the codes and stuff like that so as you guys can see um it does have a usb 2 cord um for um for for it for probably updates and stuff like that but uh it's one two three gives you the vent gives you the im readiness uh dtc i think it's just the checkup you press that just to read out the checkup um this is return okay directional buttons it's pretty pretty simple um i don't know uh, you know what uh you know the what the one i was reading off of ouch the one I was reading off of had some, some simple codes. Some simple codes. No, the one that I was reading off of was like $24.99. It was $24.99. I'm gonna I'm, I'm plugging this in guys, alright? Just stay with me, alright? The one I that the one that I was um, reading from was like $24.99. But I did actually see the other $64.99 ones up there. Alright, so I just plugged it in. And as you guys can see. This is what pops up after I plugged it in. So you get um, DTC, you get what else? Um, DTC lookup, battery settings. Let's uh, do DTC. So basically, it's doing a full scan right now. Right, it's doing a full scan. This is the first time I'm using this, so I don't know. <coughs> Maybe I gotta wait a little bit longer, I don't know. What is this, DTC lookup? So it gives you the ECU mode and the VIN. I know what the VIN is, I don't know what the, the DCU mode is. Let's go backwards. This is my first time using this, guys, so um, don't... Um, uh, it does give you the battery voltage. Sorry about the glare, guys. You guys are seeing this glare. Settings. <laughs> okay, so obviously settings gives you settings. So this is my first time going through this, so I'm actually just... Um, gives you the languages. All right, so... I am readiness. MIL is off. IGN is spark. PDC is zero, DT, DTC is zero. <laughs> All right, so I'm just assuming, I'm just assuming, if you guys are watching this, the DTC is, um, so DC, DTC is detecting and, all right, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad that I actually uh, looked through it because I was like, what is it doing? You know, I, I, you know, you gotta press this and you gotta press okay. You gotta press this and press okay. So uh, um, I was hoping that it wouldn't, wasn't having uh, any kind of issues, but uh, MIL is off monitor, five monitors okay. Two is, uh, two monitors are incomplete. 
uh, four monitors, and I did actually clear the monitors. Maybe like last time I drove it because the car was having some kind of, you know, a little bit of an issue with something that I've been working on. But um, uh, okay, so let me see. What does this do? PCM module. I'm all right. So I'm glad that it, it took me to this menu where I it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I think uh, my camera was a little bit up on a high end when I was actually filming this. But anyway, I like the fact that it actually has this uh, code that has the screen where you can erase the codes. Because I gotta tell you, erasing the codes, um, it, it comes in handy, especially if you have codes will actually cause your car to go into limp mode and and, and stuff like that. Um, it comes in handy for, for a lot of reasons to erase the codes when you need to erase the codes. All right, and this is why I love these kind of scanners um, because it allows you to do that. But um, so, so what you want to do is once you have un, with uh, when you have once you have under a uh, diagnosis, you want to press OK, and then when it press OK, it gives you the readout. Um, and then you could go down as far as uh, making a selection go side to side making a selection um, I am readiness you know it'll give you like it, it didn't it didn't finish the evap and calic system um, these these other codes man uh, this screen is bright right I mean I was looking at my I was looking at my phone while I was recording this I'm like hey man um you know, you can't hardly see, right? Can't like. All right. Anyway. Anyway, let's let's go back. So. Okay, gives you that. Now, where did I? What did I do with this? How did I? How did I use to clear the? Um, right. The auto that I had was really really intuitive. Now it, it wasn't. It was a black and white. It's black and white. It was not. It's not. It doesn't have a color screen like this. But um, let me see. Modules list diagnostic information. Or no codes are stored in the module. And you're going backwards on this. You could actually, like, okay. So you keep on pressing this. Um, like, like you keep on pressing. Let me just go back. So it says OK, read codes. So this OK button is the main button. It's even a selection button. If you guys actually get to that screen, it just goes onto the screen. But um, anyway, I don't want to erase the codes. I'm, I'm glad that it actually gives me the option to erase the codes, even even if there's no check engine light. Um, um, so because, because a lot of times, um, I gotta tell you, if you guys have issues with your cars, particularly with shifting and transmission issues, you might be able to get away with driving if you guys erase the codes. Even if there's no codes, erasing the codes, sometimes, depending on which systems you have, will actually clear the, the, the system. Um, not, not just any codes that exist, but they'll, they'll actually reset the system. But anyway, um, this looks like a great deal for... Um, $24.99. Now, if it's $64.99 on average, I mean, if that's the going rate for this, um, prop, you you know, you could probably go to Walmart and get like a, a $24. I don't even know if they're $24 anymore, considering the rate of inflation these days. They might be a little bit higher. They might be like 30 bucks. But um, I actually do like my hotel. I have my hotel in my other car. I just that's the that's the main um, that's the main. That's the main OBT2 that I actually keep around is my Autel. That's the that's pretty much the one I use like 99% of the time. So, but um, I'm definitely gonna keep this because I was looking for I have like I have a bunch of cars and um, I get you know I change up cars all the time and it's always good to have an OBD2 uh, scanner around. Because uh, I've been I've been using the, my my Prius is and having like battery issues and I've been doing videos on it and I've been like I've been like whenever whenever I switch uh, vehicles I actually have to you know uh, carry swap one of these out for my uh, to you know what am I saying guys all right I'm taking I'm taking the OBD2 from my other vehicle to to the car that I'm driving it's just a pain in the butt um, I'm glad they sent this to me.
It's $24.99, it's a great deal. You guys are looking for a clear, um, simple OBD2 scanner to, to use for your vehicle, definitely check this out. Um, it's $24.99. If you guys have your own personal experience on this, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Leave a comment in the comment section anyway. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff, guys. Happy holidays, appreciate your time. If you guys want a pretty inexpensive, um, good, uh, fairly reliable, fairly informative, simple to use OBD2 scanner, um, you know, feel free to go out on Amazon uh, and uh, eBay to get this. Not bad for $24.99. If it's $64.99, probably should pass on it. I did actually see a bunch of these for $64.99, but apparently there's a sale for $24.99. Not a bad deal for $24.99. So, what else do I have to say about this? I really don't have much to say about this, guys. All right, happy holidays. Take care. Leave a comment.